Hey guys, today we will be studying the uh, geometric tolerances and dimension in, in SOLIDWORKS. So, starting from SOLIDWORKS drawing, uh, uh, it's a basic uh, basic extrude material that I have used. So, using uh, any one of these sheets, so I will just import uh, these uh, the views, simple views of the uh, my geometry. Okay. So, uh, starting with that, first of all, we have to add dimensions, and uh, for that, we have to add some tolerances in our dimension. So, starting with that, uh, I will make this dimension. Uh, so, it is 92.85, and I will add plus. Uh, I will add. Uh, Zero point zero five for uh, my tolerance in the dimension. Okay, so this is my tolerance dimension. So for this one, same like that, I will add the uh, tolerance in my dimension by little tolerance so that uh, it will add our positive limit and our negative limit. Uh, let's make it point zero five again, and for this one, on point zero five. Okay. So it is also now done. Now I will add the dimension for this circle, like this, and also add same like uh, 0 0.05 and 0 0.05. Okay, and for this one, uh, same like that, we will add like this. And for this, add adding the bilateral tolerance for those like this, and same like that bilateral. So, our uh, tolerances and our dimensioning has been done now. Now we will be uh, adding our uh, datum. Datum is basically a reference point, and uh, from this geometry, you will understand the datum. This is the datum A, C, B are the datums, uh, which are the reference point for our dimension, uh, which have the tolerances. So uh, we will add these afterwards. Uh, so first of all, we have to add the datums and uh, make sure uh, that you will add uh, datums. Uh, uh, with your dimension as many uh, you have dimension so uh, on that number you will add the datums first of all like this we have about uh, five dimensions so we will add five datums like this okay like this one uh, datum for uh, this one uh, is not uh, so uh, is not necessary but uh, we will add as uh, okay like this now we will be adding our geometric tolerances and uh, we will be showing our geometric tolerances with this i will uh, have a brief introduction for these tolerances in my video and uh, rest of it will be uh, you have to visit a site for a website and i will give the uh, i will be giving the link for that in my description uh, okay, starting uh, for these, uh, basically we have some symbols which should be understood. So, clicking on geometric tolerance, uh, these are the signs for the diameter and smallest diameter. Uh, this is the highest material, and this is the uh, largest length. This is the shortest length, and this is the sign for uh, tall, and this is the sign for short and uh, same as this. So, uh, starting with the symbols, so I will add uh, using uh, the, uh, your dimensioning uh, view, uh, we will be using our symbols. So, it has basically uh, one uh, horizontal line, one is uh, perpendicular or vertical line, and one is the position or uh, the circular diameter. 
so uh, we have some symbols like this this is basically horizontal straight line and this is for rectangle and we will also add a rectangular uh, uh, rectangular tolerance here and uh, this is a circular and this is for uh, cylindrical uh, this is uh, for perpendicular and this is parallel this is for profile of surface this is for angular thing the, this is for position uh, for a circular geometry we will add a position and a concentric if there are two circles okay and this one is basically symmetrical so uh, in this uh, in this uh, uh, dimensioning and uh, we will be adding first of all the horizontal line horizontal straightness so for that uh, we don't have to add uh, any uh, uh, first of all we can add the position uh, like this this is the position or uh, the uh, you can use circular also uh, but uh, positioning uh, is for uh, giving the position of some circle so uh, we will add diameter and we will add geometrical tolerance which is 0 0.05 for uh, maximum material condition okay uh, so we will add uh, these primary secondary and tertiary means uh, which is which one uh, datum is associated with this tolerance okay so with this tolerance uh, the uh, b datum is associated with, so uh, capital b right capital b like this okay and for the next one uh, we will be adding our rectangular condition or flatness uh, for this uh, we will be adding our simply the, our uh, tolerance okay uh, so for going to the next we will be clicking on this button like this and now we will be adding the straightness and uh, before that uh, we will be adding the perpendicular so for the perpendicular we will be adding our uh, material condition and we have the largest mat uh, maximum material condition also here so we will be adding a a and d because we have a d here which is also associated with uh, perpendicular uh, lines okay so uh, now we have done our perpendicular now we will be adding the straightness condition uh, which is uh, basically uh, so uh, to remove uh, these two uh, first of all we have to select this one and we can add our uh, c and e and then we can add our straight line like this and we will add the tolerance 0 0.05 like this and now we will be just clicking on uh, anywhere uh, to yes like this uh, anywhere you can click and then set this tolerance like this so this is now added we have worked on this like thing and the rest of it you will be very easily um, understanding uh, in the given link below. Thank you.